this is going to be a very simplified tour of wood trace or just kind of an about me type thing for wood trace because there are all kinds of different videos that people have made of driving through the community but i actually live here so i wanted to give you an overview of the maps the restaurants around stores around and what the lifestyle actually looks like without it being highly edited and, and refined so my name is austin glass i'm your houston real estate agent and let's go ahead and jump into this tour i wanted to show you the website because you're likely going to end up here if you're trying to figure out if wood trace is right for you this is the friendswood development website it's the the one from the overarching development firm that had the whole 500 acre development that is a Lennar company just like Village Builders is a Lennar company uh, Dries and J. Patrick are not Lennar subsidiaries they just wanted to have some uh, a little bit of, of differentiation throughout the neighborhood so it's not all the exact same homes and builder I'm not going to go through all these icons here on the right because I think it's something that it, it's interactive it's something that you should be looking at and this is friendswooddevelopment.com for you to jump on here. But we're a gated community, master planned. Uh, we have a 23 acre spring fed lake. You can see some of the original pricing. We're in the, the village builders in the back of the community, which are the, the most recent ones to be constructed. Those were in the 300s all the way up into the high 400s. The Dries homes were in 580s up to that 870 range, the 75 foot lots. And then Village Builder and Jay Patrick were kind of in that mid 600 range. Right now we're seeing resales as high as almost a million dollars in the front of the community in those Jay Patrick homes because a lot of those are pretty big. And you also have the lakefront homes as well. And this was early on in the development. So you'll see here, we don't even have homes built on uh, on a lot of this and roads aren't even done in this front section but this gives you a good idea of what the the community looks like here's the pool in the clubhouse it's right on the lake it's beautiful as you drive in at night the moon's usually right over the back uh, back right corner of the clubhouse reflecting off the lake and it is beautiful there's a clubhouse you can rent this out uh, you just put a deposit down if you're a resident here and, uh, and you're able to use it for a, an event, a birthday party, anything like that. You just got to make sure that you leave it clean. HOA is $1,200 a year. This is a great little feature if you have a Mac to be able to, to go into a community, as long as it's not brand, brand new. Uh, but go, go into a community, kind of like Google, Google Maps and Google Earth, and be able to see what's around it. So I wanted to show you this is it's not super pretty, but it's so easy to get on uh, 249 Tollway and then you have the frontage roads. It's right outside the gates. We don't hear any of the traffic from that it, as long as you're far enough into the community. Uh, and then on the other side of that is very dense forest, all this out here. You have this little reservoir, that sign uh, is not going to be there forever, but it's really green, dense forest as you're entering, and that actually takes you all the way up to Wright Road, which is the stop sign just before entering the community. So this road going that direction, you're about four or five minutes from Decker Prairie Elementary, which is the assigned school for Tomball ISD and, and Wood Trace. Beautiful ranch properties all here. You don't have to take that road. You could go on uh, the 249 frontage road, but this is beautiful. The buses do pick up in the school. If you go down this way, that's gonna take you to the, uh, where you can go pick, uh, USPS is down the way. You have great Mexican restaurants, great pizza shop. There's uh, you know, a wood-fired pizza that's phenomenal down that direction. It's called Sauced Up. Highly, highly recommend that. So as we enter the community, this is all very well kept. The entire community, which you'll see in the video, is really well maintained. Overview, this is the entire neighborhood. You can kind of see it all cut out here. 
all these are this is all built out but we do have uh, all the walking trails going through this section here you have wood walking trails concrete going over stream the creeks that go through there and you have a park that's right here tucked away you got another park that is up on the front right here is this is where the clubhouse is at and this is where the the HOA will hold events in this section as well as we zoom out you have right road that comes down here but sticking to what where your grocery stores your local pharmacy all the things that you need if you exit the gates and you get on 249 or you stay on the front of the road you have Walgreens and your pharmacy here. You have little restaurants. Uh, it's a great taquera right here. Another Mexican restaurant in there. Uh, a couple of Asian restaurants. So you have some great stuff here. Gas station right before you get on the tollway. And uh, some newer, if we zoom in here, this is a newer building that's currently vacant that should be uh, a few businesses going in, which will be nice because it is close. You have all your, your local your liquor store, uh, Rita's Mexican restaurants right here. It has great Mexican food. It's probably our favorite that's local. As you come down a little bit further, you can, can kind of see this isn't all overly developed. You have the college here. And they have great events for kids in the college. Their library has a ton of different things that you can do. Uh, and learning activities for younger kids. Now I'm looking at 2978 and 249. This will be where you spend most of your time if you're going out to eat, if you're going shopping, you're going to the grocery store. HEB is right here on the top, kind of in the center. And this is called two, uh, Business 249. You have your pharmacy over here. You have a Target down here on the left, a Lowe's down here on the left and just about all of the shopping that you'd need. There's also a Kroger uh, over here on the left. So anything that you need is here, including even an Academy Sports, and also uh, the local movie theater is down here that was just renovated. I hope the simplified overview, it, uh, it wasn't highly edited, wasn't meant to be highly edited. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that, that everyone had the ability to look at Wood Trace objectively and see if it's close enough to what the things that you want to do i didn't necessarily go to uh to a, a really wide view and show you how far we are from houston and all that uh, but just south of us about an hour you have downtown houston we have katie south of us we have costco's uh, we have three costco's that are local we have one 15 minutes away and two that are 30 minutes away that new heb that's up off 1488 uh, we are not far from the woodlands. There is so much that really kind of contributes to how great Wood Trace is and any of the surrounding communities for that matter. Just this, this little pocket of Pinehurst is, uh, I, I think a little hidden gem. So if you have any questions whatsoever, whether you have an agent or not, I'm happy to help. You can reach me. My contact information will be in this video. It'll be in the description as well. And I hope Woodtrace ends up being somewhere that you consider. And if you do, give me a call.